You know, some people go to extremes and spend a lot of money to get healthy, glowing skin. But an Austin plastic surgeon says it's not what you put on your skin that makes the greatest difference. It's what you put on your plate. Dr. Rocco Piazza is a plastic surgeon with Piazza Center, and that's in the Oak Hill area. Good to see you. Great to see you as well. It's Thanks a pleasure for being in. today. Okay, so you're a plastic surgeon, but you also believe in kind of a holistic approach to taking care of our skin. How is that possible? Well, that's correct. I, you know, I think the really important thing to remember is that by leading a healthy lifestyle, by eating a balanced diet, you can really enhance the results whether they're cosmetic or reconstructive. So tell us about, uh, you, you encourage foods to start with as a healthy basis for healthy skin. Right, not every patient wants to invest in a skincare program, which can be costly at times, but not always is that the case. So by doing some simple things like eating a balanced diet, now we've got here some flaxseed, which is a great thing to uh, supplement your diet with. And not only is flaxseed good, but also flaxseed oil. And the things to remember about flaxseed oil is that it is actually better served cold. So great on a salad, you can put it in a smoothie, Supplements? I mean, can you just do the supplements or is it better just to get the whole well, food? Well, both are good. I think either way is best. And the reason why it's good is because it has essential fats. And these essential fats are simply fats we cannot live with, without. Excuse me. But uh, things like salmon, for instance, this was donated by our friends at Quality Seafood, is another great source of not only essential fats but also omega-3 fats, which not only enhance the quality of our skin but also help to prevent heart disease. What kind of foods do people need to stay away from? We were talking about your skin. Your skin looks great. I don't know what kinds of foods you eat or stay away from, probably the sun you stay away from, but when it comes to foods, what do people need to stay away from? Well, simple sugars are probably the worst thing we can do for really? our bodies in general. Um, simple sugars, and we've got some granulated sugar here, but uh, these things actually contribute to uh, a process known as glycation, which can damage our cells, increase wrinkles, decrease the quality of our skin. But they can also affect other organs in the body. And we see this a lot in patients who have diabetes. They tend to have lots of other disease processes because their blood sugars are so out of control. Glycation, is that like inflammation? Uh, it's a similar process, but not quite. It actually is where uh, there's a, um, the cells are marked in such a way that doesn't allow them to function as well as they would otherwise. And obviously other things that we do to our bodies, you know, the, the smoking and the uh, being outside without sunscreen, those yeah. all have an impact on the outside as well. Absolutely. Environmental factors is probably the biggest thing that you can control, like smoking cessation, stopping smoking, don't use tobacco products, avoid UV light exposure, wear good sunscreen with a minimum of SPF 30 at all times when outside. And drink lots of water. You can tell the difference when you're hydrated and when you're not when it comes to your skin. Uh, tell us about uh, the basic changes in people's skin. Can people make a difference? People with olive skin tend to have more supple skin than a person who's maybe fair complected. Can you change the basic structure of your skin? Or are you just born with the skin you're in? Well, we are, obviously have a, a, a genetic component to the quality of our skin, but there are some simple things we can do by eating a balanced diet, by using sunscreen. Those things can enhance the quality of our skin, but it won't necessarily change your complexion in the sense that it's not gonna change your skin type. Does that make sense? It makes it, sense. It will help to reduce acne and other things like that uh, with regards to skin quality and conditions. And I know just small changes, if people can just work one of these into their diet maybe, Absolutely. it would make a difference. Absolutely. Dr. Piazza, thanks. Thank you.